Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you, I'm gonna explain why I think Madman bought them and why I bought, I think another like fifty thousand, like sixty or seventy thousand dollars worth of shares. Hold on, let me just do some math here. I bought about twenty six thousand shares today, times three dollars and seventy five cents average. That's about 97,000. So I almost bought $100,000 of Madman stock today. Um, yep, yeah, but I don't have any proof for you guys because I was too lazy and I have things to do. But I, there was something interesting that came up that I want to share. Yes, the government. I have done my, I, I, my tax has been filed and the government owed me $7,605.58 because I, I crossed out all of my important information, but uh, because I, uh, basically paid, um, 16,000 of prepaid money for last year taxes. So they owed me back $7,605.58. So this makes me extremely happy that the government has paid me back. Uh, after I paid the government almost $32,000 in one year. But hey, whatever, paycheck. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Today was a, a very happy day for me when I got this paycheck. I'm like, yes, money. But I guess, uh, you know, whatever. So I think Man Man has bottom and that's why I put my position in. And there's an, there's more reasoning, right? Uh, so, I, you know, it's been, you know, like if you just look at the trading range, it's, you know, I th I'm pretty sure it's been the bottom. And there's another reason why I'm buying it. And I also believe that the earnings report is going to be pretty good because like, they're, they're probably going to report less of a loss on the earnings report. Maybe even poss possibly, I just hoping that they could announce, uh, you know, even a profit. Because what happened was on March 14th, which still runs under the Q3 quarter, third quarter 2019 uh, earnings, uh, they announced that the sales of two properties, uh, you know, of uh, to cannabis R E I T, uh, they they will get approximately thirty point six millions after repayment of debt. So not only that the debt has gone down on the balance sheet because of this, on top of that, they also because of because of that pro profit because of that money they they raise it's going to be. Uh, on their balance sheet, so you know, fifty percent gross margin on top of a thirty point six. You know, they could be, they could see a loss of maybe ten to twenty million dollars. But if they were to control their expenses a little better, they could be flipping a profit of, uh, you know, they could be neutral or they could flip a small little profit. If they, if they manage to flip a small little profit, I think you know that will shock investors, and that would send the stock. To the upward direction, at least in my opinion, I'm not a hundred percent sure on this. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was this was this news was released in the quarter that they're gonna announce. So that's why I think that you know the stock's pretty much bottom. And then the other big uh, another big thing is I saw I th I ran across this like I was doing my research and I ran across this Mad Men. Uh, share a uh, 385 million shares was unlocked uh, on March 4th, 2019. So if there was any selling, it would have already been done. I don't think any insiders would sell at the at the price point it is right now. At least that's just my opinion. And then thirdly, uh, the biggest uh, the biggest reason is e ETF to be offered as Horizon as HMUS to begin training. So basically, HMUS is the U.S. Uh, symbol is the U.S. ETF for uh, HMMJ. The company set it up a new uh, trading platform called HMUS, and under HMUS, you know, uh, Madman was considered a third position in the portfolio of 8.58 percent. Cura Leaf was 12.6. I can't believe Charlotte Webb got 11% in this uh, portfolio. Charlotte Webb must be a better company than I thought. I mean, I, I'm shocked that a CBD company is, you know, this established on, uh, on, 
on their portfolio. Uh, they have Sunnyvad, they have True Eve as one percent. I think True Eve deserves a little bit more than one cent. Maybe because they bought it on the valuation that you know they only have one location. Planet Thirteen's on here too. You know, like. So I'm thinking that you know if they believe in Madman and they would put Madman in the fourth position, I think Madman is pretty much no. I think man, I don't like because of this. I don't think Madman is gonna drop down to three dollars. If it does, I think uh, Hummus is gonna buy big into Madman uh, because you know three dollars is a pretty good deal. So there's a there's I don't think that's gonna happen. I think you know I think this is the bottom and it's gonna trade to the upside. On top of that, today was a pretty decent volume day for Batman. Uh, it was, you know, 1.28 million. I'm thinking that this is the end, but I could be wrong. Like, this could be the start of the ramp up in volume. Tomorrow could be a little bit higher and then higher and higher. So I, I think that this stock could go back to like 4-ish dollars, but this is just my opinion. This is not advice to anyone. I, you know, uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. You should... Talk to a uh, actual financial advisor if you're actually even interested in buying Madman. You know if you have one, but uh, I'm not a financial advisor. You're taking risk buying into Madman. Madman could go at three dollars. The cannabis market still could crash, but I'm gonna believe that this is the bottom, and the stock's gonna head to the upside. Uh, you know, and then I ran across an article that Toure is in trouble. Uh, I, I'm gonna include uh, this in the title, Tore heading to $35. So this guy, this analyst, this fund manager, he says that Tore is gonna find a bottom around $35. Uh, that would be an amazing price. So, I mean, I'm gonna aim a little higher, like 40 ish dollars or even like $45. 45 is when I'm gonna take a position. If I was thinking about buying Man Man, I don't know yet. If it hits the 40 45 dollars, I may think about doing it. Not sure because I still think uh, Tore has some kind of value. It you no, know, it was a 300 dollar stock. One day maybe it'll get back to at least 100 dollars. That is would be considered almost more than a double at 40 dollars or 45 dollars. So I'm that's why I'm gonna gamble on, but. Uh, We'll see though, we'll see if, uh, if that happens. Uh, bam, bam, you know, <laughs> like I said, I was not scared. I was thinking, like I bought bam yesterday at three, $2.45. I said bam was still gonna go up. I said I'm not scared about it and if it goes down, I would buy more and you know what happened today? Bam, bam went up to $2.73. That is, uh, you know, big, 17%. That's huge. Uh, this stock is moving like up 10 to like 15% every single day. It looks so scary on a charting perspective because it's already like so overbought. It's not even funny. You know, if you just look at the chart, it's, you know, extremely overbought right now at the 97 RSI level. It needs to pull back, but... I just don't think it will. Like I think, I think this thing is gonna hit a hundred RSI, and then and then it uh, might fall. But it's it's so crazy. Look at that volume today. Like, uh, you know, like one point five million shares got traded today. That's that is insane amount of volume. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I just I really think that the stock is still heading to the upside. Uh, Australia's capital is making mad money off this one investment. Uh, I I wish I follow Australia's just a little bit more, and I I bought Bam in around fifty cents or fifty five cents, just very similar to Australia's. I would have been so happy right now, like so happy. I would have four times my money. I think like uh, if I bought it at like sixty cents, you know, like. 0 0.4 times, no, oops, uh, 2.73 divided by 0 0.6, you know, I would have 4.5 times my money. Wow, that a four beggar, five beggar, that's insane. Man, I, I missed out on this. I think BAM is going to be like, uh, gonna be like the Toure of 2019 
Uh, and Australia's is gonna. Uh, Australia's also ran today too. Dollar seventeen on decent volume. One point. Eight, almost 1.8 million volume. That's pretty decent. No, I think if BAM keeps going up, I think Australia is going to keep going up. I think investors are backing up this company uh, with lots of money uh, buying their stock. So that's exciting. Very exciting for me. Oh, Namaste down 62 cents, down two pennies. Uh, not too much to say about it. It's trading on pretty decent volume, regardless of the stock price dropping. Maybe they're trying to like sell the company or something. And I don't know why. I don't even know why people would trade the stock at uh, 62 cents, honestly. But uh, hey, whatever. I'm not. I'm not able to control the market. Maybe there's something more to this that I don't understand. But 1.9 million volume is pretty decent for uh one day of trading even though it's like trading to the downside planet 13 three dollars and 47 cents i'm a little bit i'm kicking myself a little bit for selling out below three dollars because i thought you know it was gonna crash but uh, hey whatever that's life i still have about 2500 shares of planet 13 Oh well, that's life. Uh, Netflix. Netflix is down five dollars and six cents after hours. Uh, it's not too bad considering they had earnings today. Uh, not too much about to say that, but uh, you know, Netflix goes down and Disney goes up. So it's kind of funny how things work. Uh, no, yeah. Mad Men. I bought Men. Yeah, I already told you guys already. So, okay, here's something interesting. AMD 7 nanometer for a next generation PlayStation 5 that will be ready for Q3 2020. It's going to have the it's going to have AMD's new technology Zen 2 and Navi GPU. This new the, the next generation console, I believe, will be the last generation of consoles. There's not going to be a PlayStation 6. There's not going to be a PlayStation 7. I think PlayStation 5 will be the last PlayStation on the market. That's what I believe. Um, so, you know, la when PlayStation 4 launched, I bought about 7 or 8 PS4s. I kept one for myself and I, I, I flipped the other three for about a $200 profit. So that was pretty nice. I'm 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 planning to do that again for the PlayStation 5 because the last time was so profitable. I'm assuming that when PlayStation 5 comes out, it's going to be sold out all over. It's going to be very hard to find a PlayStation 5 for at least the next couple months once it launches in 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 Q3 2020. So I'm excited for that and I'm definitely going to be ready to buy a PlayStation 5 when it comes out in Q3 of 2020. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm hoping to make a video about how many PlayStation Fives I bought. Maybe I'll do a giveaway to somebody for a PlayStation Five. You know, like I don't know yet, but uh, maybe. Uh, but I'm very excited for the PlayStation Five. I'm definitely gonna be buying one one unit for myself. Uh, I still play games once in a while, not as much as I used to, but I still kind of want to own a PlayStation Five just because. But I would definitely be buying a PlayStation 5 in the next Xbox to be flipping them. I'm hoping that the PlayStation 5 it will be not too expensive. It would be like maybe $500 would make me happy. Uh, but uh, who knows? Who knows if that's going to happen? We'll see. You know, AMD, the, this news was new. And I'm, I, I thought AMD would like kind of rally from that. But it hasn't. So, oh well. Aurora. Aurora bounced nicely today, 4%. I just wanted to keep you guys a little bit update on Hemco and Aurora. You know, I think, see, I think if Aurora goes to $12, Hemco will go to $1.04. If Aurora goes above $12, like $12.05, $12.10, then that would cause Hemco to be go above a dollar. But at the end of the day, this is just me guessing. I don't know for 100% for sure, but... I would not I would not be happy if my Hemco shares got traded for twelve dollars of Aurora stock. I would not buy Aurora at twelve dollars. I would buy Aurora at six dollars. I would buy Aurora at seven dollars, eight dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars. I'm just like eh. 
$9, I would make a position. $8, I would be a bigger position. $7, I would, you know, make a big position. $6, I would back the truck up. That's my plan for Aurora in the future, so... Uh, Netflix? Still down. Oh, it's bouncing. Uh, anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye!